Hi guys, I am going to talk about fold lines in Cricut's design space. There are two ways your Cricut can create fold lines in your project. You can cut a dashed line like this one, or if you have a scoring tool, you can create a single scored line like this one. When you import a design from an SVG file into Design Space, unless it's specially created, which I'll discuss more about later, every line in the design is turned into a solid cut line. For example, here is my Magnolia Fairy. This is an EPS file I created in Illustrator, and you can see I used dashed lines to represent all my fold lines. However, when I import the SVG file of this design into Design Space, this is what you'll see. All those dashed lines are now solid cut lines. And if you were to cut this as is, your project would be ruined because those fold lines will be cut as a single solid line. Now, assuming you have a scoring tool for your Cricut, you need to tell your machine to score those lines rather than cut them. Before we go over that, if you're working with one of my designs, I will be offering two versions for my designs. One version is for those of you who have a scoring tool, and this version will be in the folder labeled with the design name and Yes Scoring Tool. The second version is to be used if you do not have a scoring tool, and this will be in the folder labeled with No Scoring Tool. The reason I say will be offering is because up until now I have not been offering this for my designs, so I'm working on doing so with all my old designs. And as you can imagine, this will be a slow process, so please bear with me. If you have purchased one of my designs and you do not see these two versions, the design that you do have is to be used with a scoring tool. If you do not have a scoring tool, just shoot me an email and I will create the file you need. So let's start with those of you who do have a scoring tool and I will show you how to turn cut lines into score lines. If you're working with one of my newer or updated designs, you will see these two folders. If you open the folder labeled Yes Scoring Tool, depending on how I've organized my design, you may see more folders containing different parts of the design. Once you know which part of the design you'd like to cut, one thing that's helpful when you're working on a project with fold lines is to know where all your fold lines are. For my designs, I point out the fold lines in my videos, and I also include PDF files with all my designs that you can open and see all the dotted lines that will be fold lines. Once you know which lines are meant to be fold lines, you can import your SVG file into Design Space. And here I'm going to use my Magnolia Fairy design again. And the first thing you want to do is to click on any shape in the design and go up here to ungroup it. And the goal here is to isolate the fold lines from the rest of the shapes. Now, depending on how the file was created, you may need to ungroup again to get those fold lines isolated. Here, when I click on this fairy, you can see it's now ungrouped from the other fairy. However, it is still grouped with its fold lines and I'm trying to get those fold lines to be selectable on their own. So again, click on the shape and go up to click on ungroup, and now you should be able to select those fold lines by themselves. And sometimes you may find that clicking on a line does not select it, but instead selects the shape associated with it. And when this happens, just click away and then try again, maybe try a different line. And I should also mention here that, again, it depends how the file was originally created. Your fold lines may not all be grouped together. And if that's the case, what we're going to do with the fold lines, you will need to do with each individual fold line. You can actually also go over here to this menu on the right and find the individual lines here. But Strangely, my dashed lines turn into one solid line along with these tiny lines when I create my SVG files. It's almost like the conversion to SVG tried to create dashed lines but just couldn't quite get there. 
So these artifacts are created and they show up on this menu on the right as lines on their own. For that reason, it can be a little bit confusing which lines you're trying to select. So I would recommend just going into your image area and trying to select the fold lines there. And don't worry about these tiny artifact lines. As long as you choose the main line and don't ungroup them from these little artifacts, you'll be fine. And if you find that you've ungrouped them somehow and those tiny artifacts are off on their own, you can go ahead and delete them. Okay, once you have your fold line selected, if you go up here to the operations menu and click to reveal the drop down menu, you'll see that basic cut is highlighted. So now you want to click on score. And now all your fold lines have turned into dashed lines. And I'm going to do this again with the second fairy. Click on the lines to select them. Go up to operations and click on score. Now what this does is it labels all your fold lines as score lines, which will tell your machine to use that scoring tool on them. This will not cut dash lines for you in your design. All you've done is you've relabeled your fold lines as score lines so that your machine knows to use the scoring tool on it. And if you don't have a scoring tool and you send this to cut, you'll just get no lines at all where those dash lines are. Now, once you've changed your, your fold lines to score lines, there's one last step you need to do before sending the design to be cut. And what you need to do is to select all the fold lines together with its corresponding shape, in my case it's the fairy, by dragging your mouse over all the parts like this. And then go down here and click on attach. And what this does is it attaches your shape to its fold lines so that it all gets sent to your machine together. If you have a design with fold lines, you need to remember to do this before you send it to cut. And now I'm going to do this with my second shape, drag and click and attach. And that's it. Now when you're ready to cut, click on make it. And as you can see, all the shapes are together with their score lines. And now when you cut, just make sure you select the scoring tool that you have loaded on your machine. And again, these are the steps you follow if you have your scoring tool and that will create this type of fold line. Now, if you do not have a scoring tool and you only have your blade, you will want to create fold lines by cutting dash cut lines like this one. The only thing is, if the design in the SVG file was not created specifically with dashed cut lines, you will not be able to get dashed cut lines in Design Space unless you draw them in manually. And that brings us again to the two versions that I'll be offering with my designs. If you do not have a scoring tool, you will need to cut dash lines with your blade to create your fold lines. And to do that, you will use the design in the folder labeled no scoring tool. Now let me show you what you need to do in this case. Once you import your SVG file from the no scoring tool folder, this time you should see that there are dash lines. And this is because I've created these dashes individually in the SVG file so that they show up as individual lines. So for this file, there are no line operations to be changed because you want those dash lines to be cut and they are already labeled to be cut. Everything you see here will be cut as you see it here. However, like last time, before you send this to cut, you still need to attach the fold lines to their corresponding shapes. To do that, first ungroup so that all your shapes are on their own and not grouped together. And if I click on one fairy here, I can move her with her fold lines because they are grouped together and that's how I prepare the file. This may not be the case for your design. You may have to drag and click so that you choose the shape and its corresponding fold lines all together. And once you've done that, go down and click on attach and do the same with all your shapes. And now when you go to make it, all your shapes should be together with their dashed cut lines and you're ready to cut. 
And again, this will create this dashed line here for your fold line. And that's it, guys. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for following along.